Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Golem World for your current version of Minecraft. So if you guys want to install Golem World, what you're going to have to do is click on the link in the description. It'll say Golem World. You just go down there and click on that. And what you're going to see here is you're going to see this Minecraft phone page for the Golem World page. Um, so in order to download this mod, you're just going to scroll down here to installation right here. You're going to see um, step number three is drop golemworld.jar into the mods folder. That's where you're going to actually want to download it. So just click there and it'll take you to the website. Download it and save it onto your desktop. But it should look just like that. Golem World right there. Um, the second link that you guys are actually going to need is Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge will also be linked in the description. So just go down there and click on that. And it's going to bring you right to this webpage here. This is where you're going to want to download Forge, so what you're going to do is just scroll down here to the recommended 1.6.2, that's the current version of Minecraft. So you're going to want to do is scroll down to there, go to the installer, click on the installer right there, and save it onto your desktop make it look just like that, Minecraft Forge installer. So once you guys have those two things uh, downloaded, you guys are ready to start installing, so what you're going to want to do is open up the Minecraft Forge installer first. I'll just double click on it, and it should load, it should load, I don't know why, okay there you go. Um, you're going to see install client right there, push OK, and it, it should have a little pop-up box right after that to say successfully installed client profile forge. So push OK. The next thing you guys actually want to do is actually open up Minecraft. Um, you're going to want to open up Minecraft after you've used the installer. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here to edit profile as soon as it loads. I don't know why it's not loading. So just go to edit profile, like I said, as soon as it loads. Alright, so as soon as you guys have opened up your Minecraft, once it's into this page here, we're going to go to Edit Profile. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to see this used version right here. You're going to want to make sure that you guys are all the way scrolled down to the bottom and you're selected on the Release Forge right there. So just make sure you're on that, push OK there, and push Save Profile, and you want to click Play at least once. Now the reason why we're actually clicking play at least once is because you want to use, you want to actually play Minecraft at least once with the Minecraft Forge installer installed. Now the reason why we're doing this is because it's going to create the necessary files and folders that you guys actually need to install the mod. So once you guys have clicked play at least once, Minecraft is a little popped up here, and as soon as you do this page here, you see three mods loaded, three mods active. You guys are, uh, you guys are ready to go on to the next step. So what you want to do is you want to click on quit game. Always make sure Minecraft is closed when installing your mods. So for the next thing you guys want to actually do is go down to start. You want to type in a start. You want to type in percent a p p d a t a. That's percent app data and another percent. Once you guys have typed that in, you're going to see this roaming folder right here. You want to click on that roaming folder, and this is where you're going to see the dot Minecraft folder. So you just want to open up that dot Minecraft folder, and this is where you're going to see all these files, and this is where you're going to see the mods folder. Now, if you guys don't already have a mods folder there, it's because you guys didn't start the Minecraft with the Forge installer installed. So make sure you guys do that, and that will bring up, that will actually make the Forge uh, mods folder right there. If you guys st still aren't having it for some reason, just create a new folder and create the mods folder. Just open up that mods folder, and all you have to do is drag in the Golem World right into that mods folder. You guys are completely done in the installation, so you guys can actually open up Minecraft, and you guys can click play again. Um, again, always want to make sure you guys are on the edit profile, and make sure you're using the Forge version there. So just do that, and click play. Um, so if you guys actually want to install this mod with Optifine, there will be a link in the description for Optifine. It's almost the same as this video, except I show you the special things you need to do with Optifine um, with that. So, um, so with that, um, it, this should be popping up. I'm not sure. I think my computer's running really slowly right now. I have no idea why. Anyway, it's popping up here. You're going to see that it's actually working. Again, it's taking forever for some reason. So you're going to see this thing here, and it should on the bottom say four mods loaded, four mods active. As soon as it pops up, there you go. It does. So you're going to see the mods there. You're going to see Golem World right there. So you can see that it's working. And you guys are actually ready to play your Minecraft. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if you guys are interested in these kind of things, mod installs, mod reviews, um, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. I do a lot of those kind of things, and I'll see you guys next time.